The Turbo Download Manager is a multi-threading download manager with built-in support for downloading media and image files. The extension is capable of getting remote files in parallel segments to increase the download speed. What this essentially means is that the extension is capable of downloading a single file from multiple threads. So as these concurrent downloads are happening, they grab all the different threads and then at the end, they stitch them together, which makes the download faster. Rather than having to wait for just one download at a time from one location, it pings multiple times to then stitch them together at the end. This then supports multiple download types and we're gonna demonstrate some of this today. So for example, if we have a look at an MP4 download. So after you install the extension, you'll see this inside your browser. You have the options of completed, failed, detached, and then to add jobs. Completed shows a list of current and completed downloads. Failed shows a list of failed downloads. Detached allows us to open inside a new browser tab like so. And add jobs allows us to add manual downloads to this list, which we'll show later. So let's have a look at this. Let's start downloading an MP4 file. Now on download, when this begins, we see here, we can see it's already started downloading before it's even figured out the overall size of the document. We then have extended abilities. For example, we can pause this. We can then go ahead and resume, or we can pause this, and we can go ahead and cancel. Upon canceling, we then have the ability to resume still or remove entirely. We can also have the ability to download other file types, for example, fonts. When we go ahead and click to download this, we can see this is now downloaded. We have the option to show where this is downloaded by clicking show, or we can remove this from the list of the work that has been performed. So we go ahead and click this, and it cleans the list back up. We see the same for PDF files. When we go ahead and download a PDF file, we can see the same thing happens here. Yet with a PDF, we have the ability to view it inside of Reader, we have the ability to show the file, or we have the ability to remove from the list again. When we go ahead and click the reader, we can see it open inside a reader directly inside of our browser. This is an add-on tied in with the extension. Next, we're gonna have a look at the sample image file. When we go ahead and download an image, Again, we see this download, we can see where this has been downloaded to, or we can remove this from the list. With an MP3, we can download this, and we can see we have the ability to convert this into another format, or we can show this where it's been downloaded, or we can remove it from the list. This tool gives us a range of different options to download large files quickly. So again, if we look at downloading, a large version here, such as the 128 megabyte download. Now, whilst this is downloading, we can go ahead and we can add other jobs. So if we go ahead and grab the address of this download, we can add a job here without affecting the window. We can paste this in, and we can see that is then added through. And we can see this here has been picked up. So we go ahead and click download links, adding another variation to this. We can also click download here, on multiple different files. And as you can see, they're creating multiple different formats. You then have additional options tied into this. If we go ahead and look at the options panel. Inside the options panel, we can see the ability to set the maximum number of media requests for each tab, as well as the maximum number of simultaneous download jobs. 